Welcome to the competition to end all competitions. It's the tournament that everybody's waiting for. It's the contest that will bring everything together. This is the fourth wall breaking competition. Let's meet our three contestants. Contestant one is a host of the Little Preschool's program show. His name is Barrow. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. In this corner, he's a dangerous lethal hero. It's Alive Jacuzzi. <laughs> My name is ridiculous is how I kill people. <laughs> oh, oh, I do that. And last place in the game is a man, a cartoonist man with his own animated internet show that nobody cares about. It's Sergio Dominguez. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to The Sergio Show. And in this episode, I'm doing a fourth wall breaking competition because I... SHUT UP! Now let's begin the competition. Tishin, tishin. All three of you will do a challenge and you have to do it in the most fourth wall breaking way possible. The winner with the most points gets a trophy and a, a gift card for champion of the most fourth wall breaker. All right, let's begin. First challenge, break the fourth wall in finding something. Okay, folks, can you help me find a thing? I'm trying to look around in all four corners of the screen, but I can't find anything. Wait, what's that? Huh? You say it's, it's over here? Oh, no, it's, it's over there. Huh? Oh, we found it! Hooray! Alright, you guys, look, I'm just trying to find this one guy that I'm trying to murder, and I can't look around, but I want you to tell me, brah, where's the guy that I'm trying to murder? What? Over there? Oh, I see him! Thanks! Get back here, you monster! So, I need help in finding a thing. Can you point it to me? Uh oh, you can't? Because of the screen? Um, oh gosh, like, I, you can message me, but I don't want to do that. It's just, uh, um, time's up. What, really? There was, we were timed? Point goes to the first contestant and the second contestant, and not the third one. All right, next competition. Break the fourth wall in telling a joke. Okay, so one day... Me and my pet dog were just sitting on my magical couch, and I just took a nap right on top of her. And then she licked my face, and I woke up. <laughs> just please accept it as a joke. Ding, ding, ding! Judges agree. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, I got a joke for you guys. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was running away from me because I'm trying to kill it! Haha! <laughs> Laugh, darn you! Laugh! Ding ding ding! Somehow that was good enough. Oh! Telling a joke? Well, I am pretty much a funny guy, and I can find a way to crack an audience up, even if I can't see them from my perspective. Okay, here comes a really awesome joke that I'm gonna break the fourth wall with. And it's... Time's up. Ah! Uh... Alright, third and final round. Break the fourth wall in... Drawing. Okay, folks. Now that we found the thing, I'm gonna doodle it in my magical, wagical doodly book. So, I'm gonna draw with this here marker, and then I'm gonna do that, and it looks so cute. And there we go. Yeah, well, that guy was just uh, wasting time. I already drew my masterpiece. Oh, oh, oh I, I don't even know how I got these art materials. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna draw a cartoon made out of, you guessed it, circles and lines. Now what we're gonna do is, <laughs> time's up. I'm still gonna finish this drawing. All right, now that the round's over, the winner is a tie between the first contestant and the second contestant. Oh, um, about that. Well, while all that was happening, I just killed the first contestant off camera. So I win. All right, good enough. Winner, the second contestant. All right. Huh. Somehow this game is pretty biased.
Oh well, at least I had fun. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching this meta episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. I am Sergio Dominguez saying, break the fourth wall responsibly and have an animated day. <laughs>
everybody, that's all for this animated short of The Sergio Show. I'm glad things turned out great. My other option was to kill him, but I don't want to do that. I mean, what would the easily forgiving people of the future think if I did something that evil in the past? Haha, <laughs> not a good idea. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am Classic Sergio Dominguez in the 1930s. Progressing to the future, hopefully. Saying, have an animated day. Ha <laughs> ha. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! I seek answers. It has come to my attention that we're not the only universe in this universe. I must know more, and I want to find a way out of here. So, no! Yes. So, you know you're not the only one in this universe. Yeah. But what you may not know is that this is not only the only place that has evil. Huh. Yes. Even though this is the ultimate evil place, that doesn't mean no dimension has any amount of evil. As you can see, hints of evil can come across different dimensions and areas, from machinery to animals. And you've come across one, nay, multiple versions of you from multiple dimensions. Uh-huh. But alas, I am stuck here in this big ball of evilness. I must find a way to get out of here and travel to encounter myself in a more proper way. Ah, yes. What I have is uh, right over here. This book has the answers to the different universes and how to go there. And in this book is a map to the ruins to your only hope to traveling to different dimensions. The unfortunate thing is, because of some regulations, nobody here is able to travel to different destinations. Perfect. Now give me, I want to rent it. But alas, I am the gatekeeper of this book. And you know officially too much about this whole universe. And more. For that, you must pay with your life! No. No. Why? Oh yeah, this is not my first time in this library. Yeah, a couple months ago I rented a book here and I just got a small late fee. I got so mad that I wanted to kill you so I rented this book. And I prepared myself for this very special moment. Uh, uh, you got me. Uh, uh, the book you can rent now. Uh. <laughs> hmm. 
guess I would like to rent this book. Oh, oh really? Well, let me just get my uh, library card and uh, there you go. <laughs> Getting closer. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Well, hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Sergio Show. With me, Sergio, and once again, hanging out with my dog son, Frankie. Say hi. Rawr! Haha, <laughs> you're so cutie. So for this episode, I'm just hanging out with my dog, and I'm also looking at his records when I adopted him. Okay, let me just see here. Uh-huh, yeah, he's a pug. Male. Okay, what kind of cartoon is he? Uh, what? He's a random cartoon dog? What? Frankie, did you know about this? Frankie? Frankie, where'd you go? Frankie? Fr Frankie, where are you? Fr Frankie, where have you taken me? I, I don't know where I am. Frankie? Look, I just want to know if you're okay. <laughs> You can talk like a human? Sometimes. Back and forth. Sometimes a perfectly human accent. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. I can accept a lot of surreal things from my dog son, but him unwalling his eyes. Now that I cannot suspend my disbelief. Huh? <laughs> Schooly in here, isn't it? Frankie, you, you okay? Frankie, I love you too. Even if you're an animated random pug dog. Bark, 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 bark. Uh, me too sometimes. All right. I think we mind screwed everybody here this episode. So let's end this. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Sergio Show with my dog Frankie. All right. Say bye, Frankie. Bark, bark. All right. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Studios. It's the Sergio Show.
<laughs> we got all the money. <laughs> now let's go before we get caught. Looks like we've been caught already. Yep. Take your appendages and lift them in the upular direction! This specific area doesn't have the maximum capacity for this group over here! A specific person has contaminated the liquid area. Look, nobody likes trouble, and I don't want this to happen here. Alright, derogatory inappropriate for today's time word. Alright. Let's draw illustrate. <laughs> Hmm, ha! I drew a gun on you first! Oh, you got me! Uh, oh. Well, you did it, Cowboy Sergio. You saved us from these real criminals in this fake Western setup. Oh, thanks, that was no problem. Wait, those are real criminals? Oh, well, thank you very much for watching this Western episode of The Sergio Show. I am Sergio the Cowboy, but I'm really just regular animated Sergio, saying, have an animated day. <laughs>
Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another episode of The Sergio Show. Now, you're probably wondering, how did I end up here? Well, it's a long story. About a month and a half ago, I started not to feel good with nauseous and pain and depression. So I decided to go to the hospital. So I called my insurance and asked them to send me a ride that they can fully cover. <laughs> Hang in there, we'll take you to the hospital in no time and you'll feel good as new. So after waiting endless amounts of hours, my doctor came in and gave me the results. Mr. Dominguez, I'm here for your test results. My name is Dr. Swirly Chin. By the looks of your CAT scan, it turns out you have one big kidney stone. That's right, folks. Your host of the Sergio Show has a kidney stone, and it's a big angry one. Oh, that's right. I'm a kidney stone, and I just want to get out of here as best as possible. Ha <laughs> ha. So they surgically put a stent in me, and within a couple of weeks, they were going to destroy my stone with some kind of vibration procedure. So throughout the couple of weeks, I just suffered like hell. With pain, uh, 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 a bunch of really strong medications, Alright, I took a couple of pain-relieving medications. It's supposed to give me some side effects, but I don't feel anything. Now I'm just gonna go step outside and, uh... <gasps> oh, everything seems so much more spacious. <sighs> and, of course, a couple of things in order to push the stone along. But through all that, I managed to do the procedure. Okay, I'm ready. So whenever you're ready, you can give me the knockout juice. Any minute now. Any minute now, you're going to knock me out and I'm just going to have this stone finally destroyed. Yes, sir. I'm going to... Huh. Oh, I had the procedure? Oh, that wasn't so bad. And finally, after that procedure, they also put in an exterior stent. Meaning, uh, there's a, a string at the end. So, that's what I'm here for, for the last part of this process. Alright, Mr. Dominguez, it's me again. Dr. Swirly Chin! And by the looks of your test results, the kidney stone is finally gone. So we can safely remove the stent. Look, we're supposed to have a professional here, but since this process is so easy, uh, I'm gonna do it. And here we go. Oh. Oh! 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 Just breathe. Oh! 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 Okay, now just sign out and you're good to go. That was an intense experience of having the kidney stone. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, I hope you kind of not really learned anything about the kidney stone process. I'm just happy to share my experience with you. Uh, I'll feel better after this episode. So I'm going to end this episode now. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this episode of The Sergio Show. I am Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. <laughs>
What? Huh? Huh? What? What? What's going on here? Why am I in this rocket? Well, Frankie! Oh, it's so good to see you. Anyway, where are we? What? You say I don't know the whole story? Oh. Frankie is not even my real name. It's my owner's name that you gave me. My real name is... Junky. Junky, oh. That is a cute name. That was actually my second place pick. I was uh, picked by... Out of all the pups from my mommy as the best pup to be the best. My mommy told me that I was destined for something. That I was going to have a really big purpose. That I was going to be... The personally picked one. Oh. Dog Universe animated. Need to save everybody. Gonna be a, a sacrifice. Uh, I gotta, I gotta sacrifice myself. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself in the duty of saving all animated dog kind. Wow. Does this mean I'm never going to see you again? Well, the answer to that is... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Well, here we are! Well, Chunky, I'm going to miss you. Must do it. It is my destiny. Oh, my boy is gone. Frank Chunky! Whoa, whoa, I'm alive! But why? How? Well, there's a simple explanation to all that, and that is, rah, 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 they let me anyway. Uh huh, how convenient. Well, Chunky, this was a fun journey. My body's a big cramp. Ow. Anyway, let's go home. No problem. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Starring my little personally picked pup, Frankie. Well, now I'm going to call him Chunky, just because I want to retcon this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am Sergio Dominguez. And I'm Chunky. Saying, have an animated day. Studios. It's the Sergio Show! Fwah! Huh?
Is is he okay? I hope so. We need him to save everything. Huh? What? What's going on? Where am I? What? Uh, hey, are all of you just? That's right, son. We are all the holiday icons that you met back in season twenty-three. The reason why all of us holiday icons are joined together is because we're all stuck in this holiday purgatory. What? Why? Ho oh, ho oh, oh, oh. Because of that. Is that... Holiday Lord? <laughs> yes, son. It's Holiday Lord. For some reason, he just started to be in this depressed state of trance bubble that caused all the holiday icons to magically be stuck in this holiday purgatory. <laughs> yeah, so we're all stuck here because he's upset and we need you to save us. That's right, son. We somehow magically called you, I think using Santa Claus magical powers. <laughs> Kinda. Look, I know this is an emergency, but wait, wait a minute. You? Thanksgiving turkey? I don't think we ever met in that one episode. Uh, you were just a balloon, I guess. Uh, um, anyway, also, where are the other holidays that are not from the season that I just did? You know what? It's best to le leave that uh, not said. <clears throat> so... Okay, fine, I'll, I'll help you guys, but how? <laughs> I don't know, son. We tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen to us. Ho-ho, <laughs> so I guess the best option now is you. Ho-ho. <laughs> me? I'm the last option? I mean, I kind of talked to him throughout the season, but it was just him taking me to places and explaining to me how to save you guys. Now I have to save all you guys at once from this? Oh, this is too much. Oh, but once again, I gotta save the holidays with the help of the Holiday Lord. Alright, wish me luck, you guys. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Holiday Lord? It's me, Sergio Dominguez, from The Sergio Show. And I'm here to help you. So if there's any way you can talk to me about your problem, we can- uh, uh, Huh? Oh, great. I'm just stuck in a very vague place again. Why? Huh? Why do I feel so empty? What happened, Holiday Lord? Well, shortly after our holiday adventure finished, I just suddenly feel so sad. Because all the holiday icons that you've saved throughout the season... Just help them give purpose and understanding why they exist. But me, me, I have feel like I have no purpose once it was over. But you're the Lord of the Holidays. Aren't you, like, controlling of all of these? Yes, kind of. But I just, I don't know. Look, it's okay. Sometimes people do feel funky when they finish a task or something. But it's gonna be okay. Life still goes on. And since you're this god being, you have an infinity lifetime of going on. Don't you see? You're the glue, or in my case, tape, that holds all the holidays together year-round. You don't need a personal holiday, because each holiday represents a little bit of you, especially New Year's. It's okay to feel this, and these negative emotions hopefully will get out of your system once you understand that holidays are the best, and you're surprisingly good for being the holiday holder of them all. Huh. You know what, Sergio? You're right. Yes! You feel better! Oh, the Whoa! Oh. oh, I'm back home. And so is everybody here. Well, we all just want to say thank you once again for saving the holidays in a surprisingly more streamlined way. <laughs> You're welcome as always. Anyway, bye and thank you again. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I am Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. <laughs>
Studios. Hello and welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm your host, Sergio Dominguez. And for this episode, we're gonna... What? Um... Uh... Okay, this is weird. Uh, excuse me, whoever is making this episode, but, uh, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, we need to have a, an episode possible, and uh, I can't work with just an empty void. So if you can please add something here to make this episode possible. Okay, this is Toon City, so, um, I guess we're gonna walk around Toon City! Maybe we're gonna go to a new location, or maybe an old location sequel, or maybe we're gonna, um, a... Uh, where's the rest of Toon City? Where am I going to go now? Huh? Oh, I'm finally going to space! Finally! I guess I'm on some kind of planet. So I guess for this episode, we're in space. Yay! Oh, boom! Wait, what? Oh, come on. Look, I don't know if you know this, but this is a movement of drawings, or at least one drawing animated in puppetry, and we need to make this episode possible. So if you can just... Oh, come on. You, you're doing this to me? This, this is weird. Can you draw me back, please? I mean, this show is not the most profitable show in the universe, but I try. I try my best. Uh, what? No! This is not how I look like. Come on, ch ch change me to myself. Okay, you're close, but not the right one. No. 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 No, 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 no. Come on! Okay. There we go. Finally. <clears throat> That's better. Wait, what? You're difficult to work with. What the heck is going on? Okay, look, please, can you work with me here? Can you at least give me one thing that I can work with in this episode? Jeez. <laughs> What? No, 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 not this, not this! What a relief actually seeing a white void. Oh, you know what? I give up. I don't need, I, I just, I'm, I'm done, you know. I, I've done, I don't know how many episodes of this, but at this point, it could just be a white void. This is just gonna be a break for me. I'm so exhausted from, from so many. So I'm just going to lay here and just accept my animated fate at this point. What? Oh my gosh, this was a little surprise party for my 250th episode? Oh, thank you very much, whoever's doing this. I appreciate it so much. Oh, all this time you were messing with me, you were just stalling for this surprise. Oh, thank you, mysterious artists who made all of this possible. Thank you. <laughs> Am I not just the smelliest? Well, that's all for the 250th episode of The Sergio Show. 
Thank you very much for watching and enjoying 250 episodes of the show so far. I hope you like watching them as much as I have making all of them. Isn't that right, Chunks? Oh, sweeties. All right. Well, thank you again. I am Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Studios.